Just ruled former President Donald Trump can remain on the ballot in Colorado. Today, all nine justices ruled in favor of Trump. It comes ahead of Super Tuesday tomorrow, where 16 states, including Colorado, head to the polls. ABC's Perry Russell is in Washington. A day ahead of Super Tuesday, the Supreme Court unanimously ruling former President Trump can remain on the ballot. The case surrounded Colorado Supreme Court's decision to disqualify Trump from its primary ballot, citing Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. The section reads, no one who has taken an oath to support the Constitution and then engaged in insurrection can hold public office afterward. In today's decision, the justice is writing, the Constitution empowers Congress to prescribe how those determinations are made. During oral arguments last month, both liberal and conservative justices signaled skepticism over Colorado's ruling. I think that the question that you have to confront is why a single state should decide who gets to be president of the United States. It doesn't seem like a state call. Today's ruling has implications nationwide, as the Secretary of State in Maine also disqualified Trump from its ballot, and a judge in Illinois ruled Trump could not be on the ballot there. I don't think there's any way for a state to try to circumvent this ruling. At this point, any action has to be in the hands of Congress, and that's what the court said pretty clearly. Colorado Secretary of State posting a statement expressing disappointment, adding Colorado should be able to bar oath-breaking insurrections from our ballot. Today, Trump calling the decision a big win for America. And as we mentioned, Colorado as the state starting all of this, Trump's name was kept on the ballot there during the course of the appeals process for those voting by mail. As of Friday, more than 800,000 people have already voted by mail. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.